Today, Kevin and I are gonna be reviewing some Crank and Boom ice cream. This is small batch ice cream made in Lexington, Kentucky. So we are right outside of Lexington, Kentucky. We live in Winchester, so we're very, very close. Okay. Kevin works in Lexington. We travel to Lexington all the time. So it's really cool to get an ice cream that's made right there. Uh, this, I chose both of these because I thought they had a good Kentucky theme anyway. This is Kentucky Blackberry and Buttermilk. And I have the bourbon ball. And bourbon balls, listen, we both like bourbon balls. Me Made more them than Kevin. Uh, but yes, we love bourbon balls. Yeah, we have a recipe on the channel. These were $7.99 each at Whole Foods. And um, we have uh, previously reviewed two of these. Hopefully you watched that before. Um, it says, I was walking through the aisles of our local co-op grocery store and spotted my favorite blackberry jam from Winstone Farm. I thought tangy buttermilk would be the perfect pairing for that uber sweet jam. The combo made the most delicious ice cream with the most beautiful texture. When we first started sampling this flavor, people were skeptical of buttermilk in ice cream, but it has now become a signature CMB flavor with its own huge fan base. Now, I've never heard of Winstone Farm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I'm assuming the co-op is the same co-op we go to since this is local. Oh, that's um, the one I know of. Yeah. Uh, Two-thirds cup, 143 grams is 290 calories. There are three servings in this uh, container. Uh, this is one pint. Um, they do have the Kentucky Proud logo, uh, which is cool. Uh, we did not know when we bought these that they are not sealed. So, um, I'm just letting you all know, um, in case you didn't watch that video, uh, Kevin and I, uh, we have uh, made it our goal to not buy ice cream that isn't sealed, but we didn't know. So, we said we're going to go ahead and review these because they were $8 a piece, but we know from now on. I smell the butter. And they do have a scoop shop, so if we want to try other flavors that they have, we'll go to the scoop shop. So we've had this sitting out for probably 10 minutes and that looks like it was the perfect time to let it sit out. Do you smell the buttermilk? No. I did. When you opened it, I could smell oh, it. Oh, no. It is kind of a, a lavender. Yep, it's a it very, is. very light uh, lavender color and it has immediately started melting. I guess I don't really get the buttermilk. I thought I did. It must have been my imagination. Mmm. I taste it though. Mm -hmm. You can definitely taste it. Yes. I love it when it starts to melt and then you can eat that melty part around the edge yeah. first. Yeah, I think it's a very lightly flavored ice cream. I taste um, blueberry, but not a lot of blackberry. I mean blueberry, buttermilk. I taste a lot of buttermilk, uh, but not a lot of uh, blackberry. Yeah. A lot. I mean, it tastes like just buttermilk ice cream. I mean, there's a, there's something that's adding a little bit of a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, if you were blindfolding me, I don't know that I would identify that. As blackberry. Yeah, I don't know what I would identify. I wouldn't that. say it was blackberry. Because it doesn't taste like buttermilk either, because buttermilk is kind of sour. Um, but it's definitely different. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's kind of plain. That being said, I don't think it's plain at all. I, I think it's good. I it's... could eat the entire pint. It's not one, it surprises me that it's so popular because it's not one that I would buy again and again. No, I mean, I, when I say it's plain, I don't mean it's like, there's no flavor at all. Right. I'm just saying it's not what they say it is. Mm -mm. Blackberries are very strong flavor-wise. Right, um, and, and this isn't. And you really don't taste it. So, no, not a lot. No, no. Wait you can see though, I keep picking at it. Oh yeah, I could sit there and eat the whole mm -hmm. thing. It's it's good. It and it's truly a, is. It's a pleasurable mouth feel, and the textures are really good. Oh, the flavors wow. are good. It just doesn't. It and it's incredibly sweet. Yeah, it just doesn't live up to what it says. Very, it very, very over the top sweet. I think it's delicious. I just think it's good. yeah that it was the as far as the blackberry went. Yeah. If you're if you're looking forward to blackberry, it's like eh. But I didn't get any like sourness from no, buttermilk. No, I didn't either. So yeah, I can understand why people would be skeptical of that, but it's actually it's it's actually really mm -hmm. good. Um 
And this is the bourbon ball, which out of all the ones we bought, we bought four flavors, this is the one I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to the most. Uh, there's no candy more Kentucky than the bourbon ball. That's the truth. We celebrated this coveted candy by creating the ice cream version with our bourbon and honey ice cream swirled with crunchy dark chocolate bomb sauce and our homemade candy pecans. Forget the candies. This flavor will keep your heart in Kentucky forever. They do not tell, do in there at least, all. It says Kentucky bourbon. No, it has bourbon. Huh. It says Kentucky bourbon, but it doesn't tell what brand. That's what yeah, I was looking for is what, but they, they don't want to say because they don't want to have to pay, pay rides. Um, two thirds cup is 350 calories. So this was only 290. No, 290. Yeah. This is 350. Um, but they added chocolate. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, they added chocolate. Need to be out chocolate. You gotta increase the calories. I'm gonna put this over here. I wonder if that goes through and through. I don't know. Kinda said it was mixed, so. Oh my! Oh yes, it it it's down in there. And you could hear the crunch. I was expecting that to go on the table. It did not. Oh my gosh! I smell the bourbon. You like it? This is so bourbon. exciting. Yes. And the chocolate, the big pieces of chocolate. You can definitely smell it. That's my flavor right there. Mm -hmm. That yeah. that ice cream is so incredibly creamy. That's like homemade. Mm -hmm. I mean, really. That bourbon's good too. The bourbon is excellent. I'm wondering. I'm going to cons them. I'm wondering if I do, if I wouldn't want less of the of the chocolate. It's pretty hunky, you know. Mm-hmm. That is amazing. Mm. You know That's what though? Up. I would honestly. I, and to make it bourbon ball, they've added the chocolate on purpose because you dip bourbon balls. Now, do we put pecans in ours? On top, yeah. Oh, that, well, but you no. You one on top. But we don't put any in it. Hmm. We just put one pecan on top as a decoration. I mean, you no. eat it, but I mean, it makes yeah, it pretty. It, that's a flavor. Um, and the reason, though, they put that chocolate is because you dip your bourbon balls into the, the chocolate and uh, that's what it's coated in. But I'm gonna be honest, I would like just the white bourbon ice cream mm -hmm. with no milk chocolate at all. Um, I like the chocolate. I wish they'd done it a little differently. Instead of these, this big chunk, which I'm sure people love the big chunks and I like it too, but I wish they'd done it in smaller pieces, almost like chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, mm. that is, I absolutely, if they made this without that, that chocolate, I mean, that would be like my favorite bourbon ball ice cream. And I know it wouldn't be bourbon ball without the this chocolate. This would be bourbon ice cream, then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I need some bourbon ice cream. Well, they said something that I like having bourbon honey ice cream. Well, then that's, that's honestly, that's what I need to try then. It's just, I bet you that's what it is. Their bourbon honey ice cream is probably the same thing without the mm -hmm. chocolate. Well, no, that's chocolate. what I need then. Yeah. It's really good. Me and her are sitting here and eating half the tub already. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, yeah, I could demolish mm -hmm. all that. Which is very, yeah. very good. I absolutely love it. That, out of all the ones that we tried, uh, because in the first set that we tried, I had a favorite. And, but out of all four that we tried, that is his, is my favorite. Mine too. It is your set. Oh, yeah. Um, although I really do like, uh, the, um, the blackberry and uh, the buttermilk. Um, it is terrific, very, very sweet, excellent quality. Um, but you can't beat that bourbon. No, and the flavor comparison between the bourbon and the blackberry is night and day. Yes, because this is so much stronger. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will get a picture of what I can that's left that I haven't eaten. <laughs> and thanks for watching.